Hello everybody, this is Doingman97 here with the submarine tutorial. I have had a bunch of people asking me um, how to work subs and how to get the buoyancy and ballast tanks and all of that craziness. So I figured I would make this for you here. That way, um, A, you get it just the signs and the basics of that, but B, if you're watching this video, as you know, you are. Um, I can kind of explain it from a personal point of view that just signs all that. So, uh, start out, blah, 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 buoyancy. This is just to find this video. Um, the only, the only text that you will have to actually type on a sign will be made in blue. So if there's anything else on a sign, you don't have to type it in order for it to work because that will appear when you first start your sub. So first things first is the main sign so there are two main signs there's a submarine and there's a submarine B um, submarine goes up to I think around 6,000 blocks maybe a little bit less but submarine is just the bigger version if your submarine is too big like a ship three or four plots sometimes that does it um, I know I've got one or two ship five plots that are big 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 submarines um, the only thing is on submarine uh, B signs of uh, red the red quartz block which is that red quartz and that red quartz do not work for whatever reason and I do not know why but that's just not a block for submarine B so use wool if you want a red block so there's the main signs second thing sensor signs there are just a couple sonar this allows you to see all surface and uh, underwater boats and sonar can be used underwater unlike radar so when you're in dive mode with the uh, sub drive it allows you to actually use sonar whereas the radar here it can only be used when you're in surface mode and on the surface so just a little thing there um, both of them have the same range or pretty close to it and they both uh, actually, I think radar does ships and planes. Sonar does boats and ships. So you can't see planes with sonar. But you know, that's okay. So on to next piece here, hydrophone. Um, that's just another sensor sign. Um, how it works is it's got a much further range, which is awesome. Um, when you're at a very, very slow pace, when you're not moving that fast, or when you're at a full stop underwater, um, it'll show you all the contacts that are really 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 far away and it just it's a great great little sucker but it only works if you're going at a slow speed or at a stopped position of motion or whatever so the next one here is subdrive uh, come on computer uh, subdrive is what allows you to go down uh, subdrive when you put it on your boat will just look like that simple and then that um, will have it'll either say surface or dive if you're on surface your submarines gonna stay on the surface but if you're diving it'll be in dive mode and you'll see what that looks like in just a moment but that basically allows you to go underwater the more important and more challenging signs are balance uh, ballast tanks and buoyancy so ballast tank, it shows you how heavy your submarine is, how much air, and how uh, how much it floats. So if you have a super heavy submarine, it'll sink really quickly. If you have a very light submarine, it'll bob on the top of the water, as a lot of you have experienced, which is why I'm making this video. So I'll show you how to use that. Uh, second one is buoyancy. Buoyancy is very, very awesome. The uh, buoyancy shows you how, how far, how much water, how much uh, weight, and how much just basic if your boat's going to sink. However, on the ballast tank sign, there are settings that you can put it on, which will allow you to go down or go up. And it, I'll, I'll explain that all in the second part here when we go out to see with the sub. So here is a little cutout cross-section here of the submarine 
as you can see it's this nice little plot here so the engines I'm sure you know how to use that so there is just main sign here I'll focus on that uh, let me get this in view so on the main sign you can either do a submarine or submarine B which you saw at the beginning of the video on the second line you can name your sub keep the third line and fourth line blank because that will say your uh, IGN and whoever's driving the boat and you can put anything you want on the second line just keep it appropriate on Periscope uh, this will this is your little fun tool I didn't explain this in the basics um, part that you just saw but Periscope is going to allow you to click on the sign your periscopes going to go up and you're going to be transported way up here let me see up onto the top of this pole type thing here and then you'll be able to look around which is awesome because then you can see everything basically just like the periscope of a normal submarine except it's minecraft so you're transported up so right here helm sign it'll say you're heading that's basically 180 means you're going south 90 means you're going uh, what is that east or west 270 means east or west I can't remember which one and 000 is heading north uh, gear that's when you shift click you go up gears so gear one or two uh, speed the number outside of the parentheses is how many times you click per minute and the number inside of the parentheses is uh, how many clicks per minute on the entire server um, all boats and subs click six times per minute and then on the uh, number outside it's how many blocks so this submarine for example moves six blocks per tick and one tick is every 10 seconds and then on the fourth line it'll show you that there's nobody driving this sub uh, sonar it, it's just gonna have the 0, 90, 180, 270 large X's which will be displayed around sonar will tell you the contact is close lowercase X's will show you that the contact is relatively far away and small like periods will show you that there's a contact but it's super far away the same thing will show up on a hydrophone and on a radar so just keep in mind I didn't feel like putting it for all of them now to the important signs helm you already saw that buoyancy this is this is the super fun one so buoyancy it'll show you your weight and your displacement your displacement has to be bigger than your weight in order for you to sink because if you're a feather and you're trying to go under the water your displacement isn't going to allow you to go under the water so you want your displacement to be much much bigger than your weight granted these are really boring numbers but this is just going to give you the basic idea ballast tanks I always set this on equalized when you first start up your sub it'll be unclosed it'll go to flood it'll go blow and equalize equalize basically allows your submarine ballast tanks to fill up with water or empty water the equalized settings will allow the submarine to automatically adjust to fill it or empty it depending on where you are underwater so it, if you want to go down deeper it'll fill up more just an automatic thing if you keep it on flood you can sink down a little bit but it's just easier to keep it unequalized and then the sub drive sign uh, sub drive sign will be either set on a surface or B dive on surface all of your um, signs like radio radar um, just the surface signs in general those will work when they're on surface mode but when you go into dive they turn off because you can't use a radio when you're under the water just how it works um, so basically here's the rest of the sub um, here's AA gun signs I'm pretty sure how you know that you know how those work just right click them get transported up a gun a gun so yeah there's that and then there's just cross-section of half a torpedo <clears throat> um, just on another note I've noticed that a lot of you guys are having issues with torpedoes um, next to the dispenser sign one one block in front of it you're going to either a put a lapis lazuli block B a block of diamond or C a block of emerald that will change what type of sub or not what type of sub what type of torpedo you're using mark 1 mark 2 mark 3 just the difference of damage that it will deal 
So I hope this part of the video has helped you out. On uh, this second part here, I will actually take a submarine out to sea, and I'll show you how it works. So, I will see you in a sec. Alright, hello guys again. So I'm here with the exact same sub that you saw at the tutorial. Um, it's basically just my version of the beautiful little Type 2 submarine. So, let me give you an idea of how all the signs will work. Go up here, and go down. Do the little submarine here. So, click the main sign. Here, let me turn on F1. Click the main sign. It'll say, type of U-boat, USN U-boat, blah blah blah. It'll say vehicle cost, and all that. So, let me turn off the sound here, because it's a bit loud. So, it'll say the driver and it will say the captain just like I showed you click on the periscope to activate it oh I need to be wearing I knew that so be wearing gold or leather so right click on the periscope like I said it'll transport you up to the top here and then you can see everything from above the boat fall off and it'll bring you back down here again it'll show you up or if you flip this lever here down so down it won't let you go up on it raise periscope first so, now to the signs. Subdrive, see, on surface or on dive. On dive, it'll allow you to go down. Helm, it'll show you how fast you're going. I'm currently going very, 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 very slowly. And I'm heading south, as you can see from minimap. And then again, weight, super duper 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 high. Displacement, aha, larger number. And ballast tanks, like always. Put them on equalize. You'll see that thing. You'll see the little bar go down to full. And then again, up on the helm, same thing. So, as you can see here, the weight is very, very low. It'll be a randomly changing number. So, let's go down here. Click on dive mode. As you can see, this little ticker right here is going closer and closer. It will eventually equal out and it will allow me to dive down. So as you can see, the numbers fluctuate from about 64, 53, anywhere to like 800. All right, so I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to do diving planes down bubble. So I'm gonna have to gain a little bit more speed just cause it's easier for it to sink down Alright, so see, when you go faster, your displacement goes up for whatever reason. So it's good that my number is much, much higher than my weight. Uh, to make boats heavier, use end stone and lots of it. End stone has a weight of about 20 tons, which is awesome. Uh, moss stone and iron, which are also good blocks and they look great on subs. Moss stone and iron are beautiful just because they, A, have a weight of one ton and B they just look cool so as you can see here we're still on surface mode but we're going down just a little bit the reason that we're going down ballast tanks have filled up so it allows us to sink down our number is much much higher our displacement is higher than our weight which is good it means we're displacing so we're going to slowly go down yay it's been purchased it's cost me $3,800 to do this video, but that's alright. So you'll see us go down slowly. If your boat bobs, add more end stone. Just basic, simple thing. Just add more end stone. And then when you're... Alright, we'll just neutral out. So that is just the basics here. If you're underwater super duper far, and your ballast tanks are like halfway it's perfect this boat is just a little bit light the submarine so it needs to fill up very 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 far in order for it to go all the way down but it does make it down there so make sure just basics displacement higher than your weight make sure your ballast tanks are on equalize sub drive on dive make sure you're moving and uh, add a periscope because it is a submarine so I hope I was able to help you out here. Oh, sorry, one more thing. Uh, hydrophone and then sonar, turn it on. Say so both look the same. There's no contacts right now, so nothing to worry about. So again, I hope that this helped you guys out with your 
submarine issues. Um, be sure to leave a like and a comment, and if you have not subscribed already, please do so. Makes me happy. And uh, I will see you all later.